CSS Grid Layout introduces a new unit, the FR unit. This unit describes a fraction of the available space in the grid container and it enables the creation of flexible grids without the need to calculate percentages as we might be used to doing when working with floats. In the starting point file you can see a three column, three row grid of images. The three column tracks are equal and remain of equal proportion if you make the window smaller or larger. So this is because each track is set to one fraction unit. That's one fraction of the available space. So the space in our grid container is divided into three and one equal part is given to each column track. If I change that first track to two fraction units, you can now see how we have a total of four fraction units being assigned two parts are given to this first track and one part each to the other two tracks. Something that's really neat about this is that we can mix absolute values and fraction units so perhaps we could change track 2 here to be 300 pixels. Now in this case that middle track's always going to be 300 pixels the rest of the available space is now divided up into three because we've got three fraction units available and assigned in proportion. The grid gap in this case is also set in absolute units so that value is taken away from the available space before the fraction units are assigned. If perhaps you want to add another track you could just add that onto the listing. And you can see here how everything else is then recalculated to account for the fact that we've now got four fraction units which need to be assigned. So that's the basics of using fraction units, uh, incredibly useful, and we'll be seeing those in further grid tutorials.